Welcome back to the workshop. Uh, I've been working on a little uh, 3D model for Thor Ragnarok, the uh, the new style Loki dagger. Um, it's a couple little mistakes that I've made in the blade design that I'm not going to share with you. It looks pretty close to what it is. Um, and then I did a couple different handles. Uh, these are just mock-up handles. So working on working on the keyway fit and fitment and stuff of that nature. But like this one, uh, when I did it, the uh, hilt is at the wrong angle. So I redid it, changed the hilt, and this was my full mock-up. Make sure everything fits good and I'm happy with it. And again, I was playing with the keyway. So this one's a little loose in the in the keyway, um, but yeah. Once uh, once we get all done, but I, I got the a piece getting ready to print up here. I was waiting for the bed to warm up. So, uh, but the overall, I, I pushed one all the way from start to finish, and it ended up being like this with all the uh, detail work and everything else. Uh, need, still needs a little sanding, a little fine tuning, but uh, overall it is good to go. I, I liked how the design came out. I was able to incorporate pretty much all the details of the original without a whole lot of grief. So uh, anyway, let's uh, finish prepping this bed. So we're almost at temp. So. Uh, actually making a couple of these uh, daggers uh, a couple for me a couple for a friend so we'll uh, be nice to get them uh, it's nice being able to make them consistently and I'll give you a little uh, screen cap footage of uh, what we how I did the model and, and whatnot uh, might even do a little walkthrough with uh, the uh, the Tinkercad that I did actually did the design on. Um. All right, so here's a real quick uh, little view of the handle. So what I did was I started with this base form, and then I added these ring structures on it. And basically, I designed it in two halves. I did uh, I used this little cutoff plate. You can see everything below the build plate gets cut off. So uh, once I got kind of this base form figured out and I used the same block over here to kind of shave off the pieces I didn't want. Uh, I then used the export function over here uh, in the corner of the screen to export it and then I re-imported just this this part right here which was a uh, I was able to take the same keyway cutter that I used over here uh, this piece here and cut recut the keyway so that way then anything that I built up on the outside to do like the hilt and all that would stay put. I also decided that I didn't like how far back these uh, uh, notches were. I wanted to have them where they were pulled right into the handle so I added in uh, that piece as well. I probably could have done them a little bit differently uh, but that worked out okay. Um, and then the hilt is actually made up of about four pieces. Uh, I did a similar function on, let's see, pull out the, uh, open up this one real quick. So yeah, here's the, here's the blade. And basically I had to make all the little pieces and then trim off the, the excess. And just for con safety sake, I actually dulled the edge down. So it's got an actual flat edge. Uh, and then again, design the keyway. And so I made this, uh, uh, I actually took and sliced the keyway off and just made it its own little uh, file. I think I cut it somewhere right about here uh, to be able to uh, uh, insert in the other uh, other model when I was working it. But yeah, uh, it turned out pretty good. Anyway, uh, back to the build. And a uh, neat little program. It, it's actually pretty intuitive how you do it or how you work with it. A uh, little clunky for some of the more artsy things, but uh, that's about it. Make sure this nozzle's got a good prime on it. 
Clear that chunk away. And uh, bring you up a little closer. So I changed uh, how I do my, my print bed now. And so I'm running at a, uh, a two thousandths of a gap. And it seems to be not requiring any adjustment afterwards. Uh, which has been kind of nice. So, it looks like we're getting a good extrude, fairly consistent. So, I'm going to let this run and I'll bring you back when it's uh, time to come off uh, the, the build plate. Okay, it's time to get this uh, piece off the bed. So normally I do I'll take a little razor blade, stick it under the edge there. And once you get it started, it's no big deal to come off. Then we're going to go around the edge here and clean it up. So when we're indexing the next piece, it'll actually uh, be easy to index because the, the brim that I put on here is not uniform. I mostly use the brim just to keep the, uh, er, to prime the nozzle, make sure you're getting a good extrusion on your part. Just that's what really matters. Okay. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. It's, it, it's a lot easier to do everything while it's all together. Or do this these bumpy bits while it's all together. Because it's just one pass through all that detail work. Instead of you know two or three passes through that detail work. Because it, it cuts a little nicer when it's thicker. So... Oh, and the support material, it's just this, I did a line work for it, and it actually comes out pretty easy. So there's most of it out in just a couple of seconds. Uh, you can do an X pattern or something else, but I found this tends to print a little quicker overall, because it's just going back and forth instead of having to crisscross a whole bunch. Then I got a bunch of little pieces in here, and just the little remnants I gotta take care of. And that should be no big deal. And we got the blade fits in there pretty nicely, fairly snug. That's what we want. Okay, now let's continue on getting this uh, hilt there uh, cleaned up. It's almost done. Okay. And it is very important to make sure you don't have any burrs sticking up on this top top surface here, because that will be uh, your your gluing surface. Also, if you got uh, a little bit of glue buildup on your on your bed, it's you're going to have to take and scrape and make sure this is nice and flat. Um, so again, you don't have any, any burrs or anything sticking up. But anyway, so this is ready to go and I'll get the other piece and then we'll uh, glue them together. All right, so the next step, I got both handle halves. I've cleaned up the edges, both you know for the tip and the other thing. It's a little easier once it's all glued together to uh, clean up this uh, last little bit of flashing. Um, but now that we're, we're cleaned up, we're cleaned up in this gap here. We're going to just kind of hold it together and do a quick handle test fit to make sure it's not going to bind or anything funky. So it looks like the handle's going to slot right in there when it's all done. Be a little bit on the snug side, but that's okay. I think there's one little ridge that I should probably take down. That's right. Yeah, the, the support material for this cavity uh, still requires to be removed. But it's not too bad. I found that that line style uh, support material works a lot better. Yeah, we got the, the surfaces here shaved down pretty good. 
get the last of that glue off. I only want the uh, super glue to do its thing. Okay. Get that blade out of the way so we don't accidentally glue it in with the mix. Hopefully there's enough left in this tube to... Do what I need. Basically, I'm just running around the perimeter real good, and I'll do like one bead right down the middle. Okay. Ah! Losing stuff. Okay. Missed a spot. There we go, full coverage. Okay. Now, once you start locking this down, you gotta kind of be gentle with it, let it float to get it in position. Okay. Line it up the edges. Come on, line up. Okay. One right there. So that lines up pretty freaking good. tab there and then we're starting to get the super glue to kind of ooze out the edges a little bit which is fine it'll be uh, easy enough to clean it up and then if we really want we can do a quick test to make sure that still slots in still slots in good um, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to take this out okay so now that the glue's all set we'll get this uh, pulled apart here Now when I clean this one up, uh, I kind of I pre-cleaned the flashing off of it so that way it wouldn't be uh, uh, so much work in the end. But this one's ready to go, and we'll do a quick test fit of the blade. So this slots in there real nicely, fairly uh, fairly snug. Okay. Now just for simplicity's sake. In case I ever need to take the blade out, we're just going to do a blob of hot glue there and a blob of hot glue there. Then lock that in. So it doesn't take much to to hold the blade once it's a, it, with this snug of a fit. And it's a pretty rough texture in there. Just by squishing it, it'll it'll squish out and, and engage more more surface. So you got that combined with the other one I already have and we now have a completed set. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed my little uh, Loki Ragnarok uh, uh, video. <laughs>